Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a new card fight Vanguard video for you guys today. And I'm really, really excited for this one because I think I found my lyrical deck. So I've mentioned it before. I've never been the biggest fan of lyrical as a nation. Uh, the only deck that even remotely interested me was Chris Rain because it was so free form. And while I loved that deck, I saw this deck coming out in the lyrical subset that's coming out and I just, I had to play it. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about the cards for this deck. Uh, we're gonna talk about the build that I threw together and then we're gonna go jump in and find a game. So if you guys enjoy this kind of content, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And yeah, let's jump in and check it out. So at first we got Absolute Zero Ricks. Uh, this is our basic starter. If you went second, you, have to, you get to draw a card. Uh, our grade one actually makes it so our grade zero matters. So we have to run Ricks can't run any other grade zero but what our grade one does when this unit is placed from riding absolute zero ricks look at the top seven cards of your deck choose up to one card with absolute zero or judge maintenance card name from among them reveal it and put it into your hand shuffle your deck so absolute zero is the main you know sub archetype of of the deck but judge maiden is all the support cards so it basically gives you a lot of search targets we have three six seven eleven fifteen 15, 16, 17, we have 18 search targets, so you most likely are gonna hit it off a of top seven. Its second effect does matter. Act rear guard once per turn. If you have a grade three or greater Vanguard with absolute zero in its card name and your opponent's Vanguard is grade three or greater, discard a card from hand and this unit gets continuous. All of your front row rear guards get plus 5,000 until end of turn. Because it's continuous, when you see how the deck gets Monsky attack, you gotta understand why that's, that's awesome. It's like a mini persona ride. Our grade two, absolute zero, Kauza, Kauza. Uh, when this unit is rolled upon by a grade three with absolute zero in its card name, choose an absolute zero Kra from your soul and call it to rear guard. Uh, pretty sure the, the Kra is because they're supposed to be like birds. Uh, so absolute zero Kra, that's our grade one. So when you ride the grade three over the grade two, you get to call the grade one out. And as you know, the grade one has a, a really good skill on rear guard. Uh, this card does have another skill if you want to run more copies of it. It's actually not bad. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, if you have a grade 3 or greater Vanguard with absolute zero in its card name, this unit gets 5,000 power until end of that battle, and at the end of that battle, retire this unit, draw a card. It has an, um, basically the same skill as uh, Boulder X Dragon. The only thing is, it doesn't call itself out. The reason that's good is because, again, how the deck gets multi-attack, which we'll get to in a second. And then, of course, our grade 3. This thing is so fucking cool and so unique like i saw this and i'm just like this this is this is me all right continuous vanguard circle all of your and your opponent's units get continuous vanguard rear guard if it is the fourth battle of that turn or more when this unit would attack it cannot attack unless you discard a card from hand so it puts a restriction on both players that if they want four or more attacks they have to discard a card for every attack that is insanity and especially with the way the game is right now where every deck is multi-attack, that is bananas. Bananas. <laughs> but that's not even all she does. Act Vanguard Circle once per turn. Energy Blast 4. That's a little a little a little rough on the energy, but the deck does have a way to energy charge. But she gets power plus ten thousand, drive plus one, so you get a triple drive every turn for almost no cost. And then sec last skill, auto vanguard once per turn. When your card is discarded from your hand by a card's ability during your turn, counter blast one and draw a card. So if you have to ditch for cost for just about anything, you can counter blast one, draw a card, but it is only once per turn, so be careful there. But the big thing is her restriction forces you to discard a card if you want to get a fourth attack. And then she immediately refunds herself for a counter blast one. So real, really, really nice card. Uh, as far as our deck, we'll talk about the support cards too. We've got our Persona Rides. This is a one card that we're running just two copies of. Properly and Restlessly, Judge Maiden Mar Marlius. I hope I said that right. Uh, she's one of our Judge Maidens. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked. If you have a grade three or greater Vanguard with absolute zero in its card name, retire this unit. She's one of your opponent's grade two or less rear guards and retire it. Easy retire, absolutely free, search target. Uh, the thing that's nice about it is that it removed itself after the battle. When we get to the grade two, you'll understand why that's important. We're playing four Soul Blast Cyclers. The deck doesn't Soul Blast too, too much. Uh, the only card that's really Soul Blast is Yukia. And we actually have a card that Soul Charges, which is uh, this grade one right here. 
Uh, here's our agreed to Peaceful Sky Judge Maiden Ala. This is probably the most important card in the actual main deck. When this card is discarded from hand during your turn, if you have an absolute zero vanguard, energy charge one, so it doesn't matter when you discard it. When you your grade three or greater vanguard with absolute zero in its card name attacks, if you do not have a unit with the same card name as this unit, you may call this card to rear guard. There's our extra attack. It is free to do, which is crazy. Just have it in the drop zone. So you can discard this for ride, energy charge one, and then when you get to grade three, you can call it out for an extra attack. And obviously you intercept it with it, you can do it every turn for nothing. Auto Rigo, when this unit attacks, if you have a greater three or greater Vanga with absolute zero, and it's card in this unit gets 10,000 power to the end of that battle. So it doesn't need a booster, it can still hit, and it doesn't care what grade your opponent's uh, Vanguard is at, which is huge. The thing I like about this archetype, besides just, you know, uh, Sagita's restrictions, it's the fact that a bunch of the support cards have effects on discard, because obviously she forces you to discard, but it doesn't specify when, so even if you discard for rides, you're still getting beneficial effects, so it's like playing extra cyclers. So I think it's pretty cool. Uh, light spinning around the flower garden judge maiden Lorena. <laughs> this card is basically almost like their version of a Nez from the Chris Rain deck. When this unit is placed on rear guard, if you have an absolute zero vanguard, Carnival Blast one, look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose up to one card with absolute zero or judge maiden's card name from among them, reveal it, put it into your hand, shuffle it. So it doesn't call the card straight out, but it adds it to hand. So you can get persona rides, you can get combo pieces for later. I wish there was an absolute zero perfect card, that'd be crazy, but maybe maybe in the future. Still a really, really solid card. Especially for just a counter blast one to check top five. Nice. And then when this unit attacks a grade three or greater, this unit gets power plus 5,000 until the end of that battle. So free power just for your opponent being a grade three. The cool thing about the first effect is it doesn't care what your grade is. So you can do this on turn two. So you can start plussing up super early. We have our three PGs. If you look at the bottom, we have Elementary Sanctitude. The rest, uh, majority of the rest of the cards are generic because the deck has a lot of space. We're playing three copies of Beware of Overeating Eileen. This card is nuts. Uh, you swing with a rear guard. You get to peek the top card of your deck and put it on top of the bottom. Stacking the deck in Vanguard has always been ridiculously powerful. And in this deck particular, because you have swing with a rear guard first to get your fourth attack, uh, having Eileen, you're always going to end up using it. Yukia, Yukia is busted. She just gains free power for calling a card in front of her. After the battle, you Soul Blast, get your card back so you can get back cards like Lorena to keep on using it every turn, super easy. This one was kind of a flex spot. I wasn't sure what to use as far as generic support, because again, I'm not a lyrical master. Uh, but Clear Shimmer Aura is a good card. When it attacks, when it boosts an attack that hits, you retire her, search your deck for an, or, uh, an order and add it to hand. Doesn't specify any restrictions on the order. So we're only playing two orders, but being able to rip out Elementary saying two out of deck or Radiance Caliburn is crazy. Uh, the last support card for Absolute Zero is Secret Prayer Judge Maiden Claire. When this card is discarded from your hand during your turn, if you have an Absolute Zero Vanguard, put it into the soul. So this deck has its own built-in soul charge. And then Continuous Guardian Circle, if you have Vanguard with Absolute Zero in its card name, this unit gets 5,000 shield. So it doesn't do too much, it's a 10k shield, and it is a soul charge. The reason we're running it, again, it's a search target, so we, don't, we miss less of our cards, our Grade 1, our Grade 2. It's extra shield and it's extra soul. So using Yukia, using our Soul Blast Cycler, basically means nothing to us. Now, trigger lineup, we actually went with the Lyrical Over Trigger. For anybody that doesn't know what it does, if you trigger it, it gives 10,000 power to your entire all your rear guards for the rest of the game, which is crazy, especially in a multi-attack deck. We're playing draw triggers because there are a lot of cards we do want to see and we do have some extra shield in there so we don't really need the front triggers even though in most cases we will have a board but if this deck plays against a heavy retire deck it might be a little bit harder to maintain that board presence so draw triggers eight crit because you know we got to close out games and of course our heals so this is the deck i've tried it out already on stream it was a lot of fun but now i'm gonna show you guys how it plays in practice so let's go find a game All right, guys, we got a game. It looks like we're going first. Uh, this hand is not terrible. We're going to get rid of some of these cards. This card is good. We want that later. We want to keep one of these grade twos because that's going to set us up for our fourth attack. And we don't super need Eileen right now. I'd rather try and draw into more of our combo pieces or not a great hand. All right, we're playing against Pale Moon. This is actually a 
good practice for this deck because uh, this deck is kind of anti Pale Moon. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna draw for turn. We're gonna discard our Cycler. Ride grade one, grade one skill. Check top seven. Uh, what do we got here? I'm actually gonna go with the Persona Ride because we don't have one. Shuffle the deck, and then of course, skill. Bottom deck, Soul Blast one. Draw a card. Not bad. Not a bad first turn play. And with the cards we have, we actually have a pretty good early game too. Because we can actually use Yukia to bounce some of our cards back. We can actually call our grade two to attack and then intercept with it later. Or we can, you know, discard it to get an air free energy. Mm. I'm gonna take this one, just in case we top deck our grade two. Remember we have that grade two that's uh basically plus one. That one right there. Lorena. I would have liked to draw that card and, you know, hit the draw trigger, but hey, stuff happens. So, we're actually going to... What do I want to discard here? Uh, Claire's a soul charge. Yeah, it's probably our best bet. I'm going to ride our grade two. Skill. I'm going to put it into the soul. We're gonna call our grade two. And we'll call Yukia two. So now we go battle phase, swinging. Oof, that's an over trigger. Oh, that's 10,000 power for the rest of the turn. I mean, for the rest of the game, I'm sorry. Uh, and then swinging. And then skill. Into the drop. We're gonna return this to our hand. Because ideally that's the card we want to discard next turn. This is gonna be a little sad because now that over trigger is kinda gonna taint the rest of the game. That's why I really don't like over triggers. Because now we're gonna have an extra 10,000 power to all of our rear guards for the entire rest of the game. So it's, like we can still do cool guy stuff, but it's gonna, I don't want it to feel like we only won because we got the over trigger, you know what I mean? All right, we don't really, we only, mm, I guess we could take one damage, just in case we end up needing a second counter blast. But in reality, we don't need any right now. We have one for our grade three and that's all we super need. But we could potentially get more, uh, more advantage if we have another counter blast. So I'll take this one. And then I will guard this one. Alright. And we top deck something kind of good. So we're gonna discard you. Ride. Skill. It's gonna call you out. Skill, bottom deck, Soul Blast 1, draw another card. You gotta be careful with the Soul Blast Cyclers, because you don't, like, Soul is fine, you just don't want to Soul Blast the wrong card, you know what I mean? And now we have no cards in Soul, so we definitely gotta be careful now. Uh, how do I want to do this? I mean, we can throw out anything and it's gonna make a number because of our, uh, of our over trigger. So we're gonna use skill. We're gonna energy blast four. She gets 10K. Plus one drive. I'm actually gonna call out this. And that. Why not? Even though we can't bounce, we can't bounce back a card, which sucks. It's fine. So we're gonna go. Swing in. Uh, 
Oh. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna swing. Wait, where's our grade two? We never guarded with it. We just cucked ourselves out of an extra attack. Oh well. Uh, heal trigger. And we get to recover one. So, I messed up there. I should have had an extra attack, and I would have had to discard for the extra attack because of my grade three skill, but then I also would have been able to counter blast and draw an additional card, so I would have made up for it. That was my mistake. I thought I had two copies of the grade two. It's all right, mistakes were made, mistakes were made. But now we can discard the grade twos in our hand to be able to actually gain energy. So this thing puts a card into soul. I actually played against this deck last night, so I kind of know what it does now. It does. It has potential to get five attacks with the build he has. That's why they're playing this grade one, this double grade one. But for every attack four or higher, they'd have to discard a card, which definitely adds up quick. Oh, I don't know if you guys know I said the change in my appearance. Sorry. The game I originally had to record for you guys got corrupted, so I had to record a whole different game. But same exact deck. Haven't changed anything in it. All right, he's going for an extra attack. All right, 34. This is 28. I'd have to guard with... This in a 10k, I'll take it. I'm likely gonna guard the Vanguard since it does swing with a critical and it's probably gonna be the weakest of the attacks. Um, 35. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. What's that? 23. Now he's going for the extra attack. Uh, I don't want to do this. I guess I'll just go 28, 43. I'll just do two of us. All right, sweet. And I think I'm just gonna perfect guard the last one just to discard the grade two. I don't want to go out of my way trying to discard it. Persona ride this time. We're gonna call this grade one. We're gonna actually bounce back the uh, the draw trigger this time. Uh, skill. We're gonna discard a card, which is gonna give 5k to our front row passively. Our rear guards. 
skill. We're gonna counter blast one. We're gonna draw a card and then skill. We're gonna energy charge one. And I think we're good. No, no, can't forget the Vanguard skill, obviously. One, two, three, four, plus one drive. All right, let's do this. We're gonna go 54 to Vanguard. That's a big ass number. Again, it's kind of tainted because of the the overture, otherwise it, it would be 34, which is still a pretty good number. I did not expect him to go to guard it. Fifty four is a pretty crazy number. And he didn't. All right, so skill, retire. We get to search an order. We're gonna add elementary sanctitude. Deck shuffle. Swing, grade two skill. It's gonna call itself and it's gonna gain 15k power. So it gains 10k power if I have a grade three and it's gaining 5k power because of our grade one. All right, triple drive. One, two, who, three. Oh, I found our grade ones. <laughs> All right, we're actually gonna go swinging here. Then skill of Yukia, we're gonna Soul Blast to add this back to our hand. And then we're going to discard, we're gonna swing, but we gotta discard. We'll discard Nylene. So now they need another 20k to guard that. 25k? Yeah. But again, it's the over trigger. <laughs> oh, this is supposed to be in our hand. Wait, did I have the soul blast to my hand? No, no, I didn't. That's right there. Okay. And bam. All right, so we still got a pretty good amount of advantage. We're at three damage. They did persona ride, so this is gonna be a hefty turn. Oh, I was missing five k power on that left side because I forgot to give the the five k power that you get when you call a card in front of her. Oh well. So this grade three, this grade three is good because it lets them get back their dragon from their grade two. Because you get to put a card from your drop into your soul. They already put the garden. They didn't. So it looks like they're going for a five attack turn here, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, they are. But again, they're gonna have to discard a card for every extra attack, so we'll see what happens. We haven't seen their OT just yet. They still have the extra counter blast, so yeah, they're going for a five attack turn. I believe if we make it through this turn, uh, we pretty much win. So 44, we'll take that. 35. We'll guard that. Just because I'm not 100% sure how big these other attacks are going to be. Thirty-one. Thirty-six. Okay, that matters. Thirty-four. 
Okay, they're only going for one extra attack. All right. Oh, no, there's the other one. All right, so let me think. 54, we're probably not guarding that unless we dump our whole hand. Because that's 43, that's... You know what? That's fine, we'll perfect guard it. And no triggers. All right, cool. We're good now. I was sweating there for a second, but we had enough to guard the big attack, even with the trigger. So now we'll just... I kind of want to guard an intercept, but we'll just guard. Mm, how do I want to do this? I want to just take the damage. They have to discard too. Because for every attack after four. Uh, I'm going to intercept to get that into the drop, but I'm still going to take the damage. If I had kept the Yuki, I could have bounced it. Oh no, because I have no cards in soul. So I actually couldn't do that. Actually, I could have because of my grade one. My grade one would discard the, this grade one, which is going to get me a soul. Oh well. All right, let's finish off. All right, so first off, skill. Plus one drive. Skill. We're gonna discard you. So now our front row gets a passive 5k. Skill. Shoot, that's gonna go to soul. We're gonna call Eileen and we're gonna call two criticals. <laughs> Interesting field. <laughs> we're gonna go battle phase. Oh wait, these gain 5k. This gains 5k. And this gains 5k. And we're gonna go 37. Again, crazy because of the OT. And then skill, we get to peek the top card. And we're leaving that right on top. And they are at four damage. Yeah. That last turn where they pushed for five attacks, having to discard two cards, basically took away any chance of them guarding. So that's 33, 38, okay. And then skill. Just calls herself, and then she's gonna gain 15k power. All right, triple drive, critical power here, crit there, and that should be the game. Yep. Uh. Like I said, unfortunately, it's kind of tainted by the fact that we had the over trigger, especially pretty early in the game. Uh, the lyrical over trigger is one of the stronger ones to get early in the game, but them also having to discard to get multi attack, which that's one of Pale Moon's whole gimmicks is the extra attacks, especially that last turn where they did five and had to discard two when they only had four cards in hand, uh, basically sealed the deal for us. So I'm really impressed with this deck, guys. Again, this is a, a first draft. I just kind of threw it together. Uh, as you see, some of the cards didn't really vibe. Uh, if you look up the Judge cards, the, the Judge Maiden cards, uh, there is another, There's those are the only grade ones. There is one more grade two, but it's kind of ass. It only has an effect when it's discarded. If I have an absolute zero Vanguard, uh, I can give 5K to a rear guard which would be cool, but un all of the other Judge Badens have effects. Like this one has an effect in the drop and when it's discarded and on the field it gains a power boost. Like for a deck like this, that's how they should have made it, where if it's on the field, it has one effect, but if it's discarded, it has another. Uh, our grade two 
Lorena only has an effect on call and on field, but it's a plus one pretty much every turn. So it's just a really, really solid card for, for cheap. But let me know what you guys think of the deck. Let me know what text you guys are trying, and let me know if you guys want to see me do another video on this deck, changing up a little bit. If you guys want to see me build decks, play test live, I stream Vanguard at least once a week at, here on YouTube or over on twitch.tv slash Zafikel. I appreciate your support, and I would love to hear your guys' ideas. We've got we've getting new viewers all the time, and it's just been a lot of fun. If you guys want to check me out on my other social medias, those links are also down below. That is it for me, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.